Are you tired of feeling like your mobile phone is controlling you rather than the other way around? Do you ever wonder why your personal data is constantly being uploaded or why you can't delete pre-installed apps that you never use? The creators of Bhar OS, a new mobile operating system developed by Indian startup J&K Operations Private Limited, understand these frustrations all too well. With promises of more freedom and flexibility, Bhar OS aims to provide users with a new way of experiencing their mobile devices. But can this new operating system truly compete with the likes of Google's Android and Apple's iOS? In this video, we'll explore the challenges and potential of Bar OS. Their sites ask in large forms, why does our mobile upload our personal data in every five minutes? Why does our mobile come with default apps that cannot be removed? Why do app stores continue to serve malicious apps? Can we still trust them? Despite its proactive statements, the company's website is a PowerPoint presentation with no clickable links or app store. Bar OS sparse details have drawn more skepticism than admiration. Alphabet, Google's parent, spent $39.5 billion on R&D and made around $280 billion last year. Bar OS will also compete with iOS, which has only 3.6% market share. India is 96% Android. The operating system founded by technology enthusiast Karthik Ayer and former cop Jafar Seth promises mobile users more app choice. Ayer's attempt is brave but not novel. IIT graduates created multilingual Android Fork Indus OS in 2013. Indus OS co-founder and CEO Rakesh Deshmukh says their smartphone app store Indus App Bazaar has over 400,000 apps and serves over 200 million Indian users. Two desktop operating systems are made in India. CDAC from Chennai developed BOSS Linux. Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology R&D organization CDAC. Then there's PrimeOS, which is designed for student laptops. CEO and co-founder Chitranshu Mahanta claims more than 3 million downloads in 140 countries. What's Bhar OS's approach? The company will initially serve government and private companies. JNK Operations will create a list of approved apps from which enterprises can choose relevant apps for their employee app stores. Jayant Kola of Convergence Catalyst argues that privacy and security are not big selling points in India. People are willing to trade their privacy for functionality and freebies. Apps add functionality. The Indian government seems aware of the challenges the indigenous operating system will face. In conclusion, its proactive statements and sparse details have drawn more skepticism than admiration. Bhar OS will face tough competition from established players like Google's Android and Apple's iOS. But it has the potential if it can convince critics that it is not just another Android fork. The developers will need to persevere and overcome the challenges to succeed in the highly competitive mobile operating system market.